Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video, C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss memory mapped files. In one of the previous video, we discussed the boost interprocess mechanism, which is used for sharing information between processes. In that video, we have discussed the two processes can share information using file, and the two processes can share information using memory reside in the kernel of operating system. For example, traditional message queues. And the two processes can share memory region, which uses shared memory or memory mapped files. In this short video, we demonstrate how to create, read, write, and update memory mapped files. The system call of create shared memory files is called MMAP MMAP, which is used for map or unmap files or devices into memory. Here on Linux, we create a three program. One is called MMAP create.cpp, MMAP read.cpp, and mmupdate.cpp. So mmread.cpp used to create a file which uses memory mapping mechanism. And mmread.cpp uses memory mapping mechanism to read a file. And mmupdate uses mm memory mapping mechanism to update a files. Here for the mmcreate.cpp, the usage we want to do is called mmapcreate. We give a file name and we give a message, which means we write a message into this file. The header file using mmap is called sysmmap.h. We have first to open the file using open system call. The open system call, the first parameter is the file name we get from the argument one from command line and flag which uses create, read, write, or truncate. So this is used for the create a new file and the permit which is 0644 we defined for the, this is a typical Linux or Unix file access permit. So return is the FD file descriptor. So this is the open file, and after that, we just get the file size, which is the size of the message from the command line, we plus one. And just to print out, the file we're going to create is name and the size, which is this size of this string of message. And after that, the step two is set up file size. So we go to the file size, minus one, and write one character, just a return line. So this is a set of file size. And the third step is to mapping. So the mapping is called MMAP. The first parameter is the address, which is the address is now. Then the kernel choose the address that it created memory mapping. So because we don't have a particular reason, so we just use it now. Let the kernel choose the address, and the second parameter is the length of memory we have to allocate. It's a file size we get from the string line of this message. And the third one is flag. Have four options, proud to read, proud to write, and pronoun. So in this case, because we create and write, so we're using the read and the write. And this one is the false argument. It's a false argument, can have a map shared, which is share this mapping, and the map shared validate, which is new since Linux 4.15 and my private, create a private copy, write my mapping. So we just choose the map shared. This memory can be shared. And the last, next parameter is the file descriptor we get from the open file. And this is offset. We start from point zero. This return is the pointer of a memory address we 
allocated or mapped from the files. After that, we just uh, use a memory copy to the address, which argument 2 is our message, copy our message to the address. Size is a strong line, which is the length of this message. And after we copy this into the memory. And the next step, we are going to the M sync, which is a synchronized memory to the file. So if we just write in this to the memory, it doesn't create write to the file. So in order to synchronize to file, we have called M sync, which is address and size and MS sync. There's other option is called MS async, which are synchronized. This MS sync is waiting for the synchronization complete, then return back. So after that, we can use them MMAP which are mapping our memory and the files. After that, we close the file. So this is a basic step. Step one, open file, use the system call, get the FD. Step two, set the file size. Step three is mapping using the MMAP. And after we map the memory to the file, we can operating as a file as normal access to the memory. So in this example, we just copy our message to the memory. And step four, we synchronize memory to file, use the msync, step files and mapping, and mapping our memory to the file. Then we close the file. So this is the basic step for create a memory mapped files. For the me memory map reading, so the usage in our example, we use the MMAP read and the file name. So in order to read a file and the mapping to memory, the first step is still open file, get the F file descriptor called FD. But these times the option is uh, for read only O underscore read only. So this file name is for read only and we have to check the file size to decide how much memory we are going to allocate it. We use an F stat. So the F stat is get the file status. So in this F stat, which is the usage, is the F stat file descriptor and the structure of stat. In the structure of stat is uh, defined like it is. They have a stat dev, dev stat info, st info, st model. But these times we use it is the st size, the total size in the byte. So after we call this function, we get the file size using the file status dot st size, which is we get the total size in the byte of the file. This we use it to decide how much memory we are going to map in. So after we got that, we just print out our file and the size of these files. Step three, we are going to map in, and the mapping using MMAP now means we let the kernel to decide the memory address and the file size, which we got from the file stat. And uh, this is the uh, priority is read and map shared. This is uh, typical because we are only read, we are not writing, and uh, we shared file descriptor offset is zero. So we return back is the address of our memory map from these files. Then we can operate in this file as a memory. In demo, we just print out the memory to the output. So after we finish our operating from memory, we can use it is a map. And then we close. Because we are going to only read the file, so we don't need synchronize memory to files. This is uh, for our memory MAP read. For the program is memory map update. Usage is uh, MMAP update and we get a file name and a message. First, uh, we read from the file and then we use the message from command line to update the files. So step one is we get the length of our message to the lines. Then we open the file and uh, this file name from the command line 
and the op operating is O underscore R D W R, which is read write. So this file is for reading and write. So first step, open the file. We get a file descriptor, and then we use an F stat get the file size, which is the file size using the ST size. We step three is the mapping. We use the MMMap using the noun. Later, operating system decides the address and the file size we got from the file stat. And the priority is read and write. So it's, we open this file for reading and write. And we use the map shared, file descriptor, and the offset is zero. Memory address pointer is ADDR. So after that, first we read the file, we just print out. Use memory, reading, memory, to ST out. So we see so we read from the memory of this file. And after that, we can use the MEM copy to add ADDR, which our new message into the memory, update the memory we mapped of this file. After that, we just print out after update what is the memory content and then because we updated the memory, so we have to synchronize. So I'm sync this address, this size, and MS sync. It's step four, synchronize memory to files. Finish the synchronize, we map, which I'm mapping the memory of the file, and we can close the files. So this is for update. So now let's save the program. It's compiling. So now we got a program compiled. We, so we have three executable, map create, read, and uh, update. So first we try to create a file, we use create, we give a file name. We call it mytest.txt, we put it into the message. So my message is this is a we test the message of memory mapped files and we write into these files. So we get around. So let's say our strong line is 47 bytes. Let's check out the file. You can see we created the file which is 47 bytes. Let's see what's the content of this file. We print this. So this file is this is the Hui test message of memory mapped files. This is the Hui test message of memory mapped files. So now we check how to read this file. We use MMAP read and file name. You can see we read the file, we check file size is 47 byte, which is 47 byte. File content is this is a Hui test message of memory mapped files. And the third example, we're going to update. So I update this file with the message. We just write any message xxx. So we, you can say before the file content is this is a Hui test message of memory mapped file. And we put this uh, in the character xxx. You can see we updated after we struck copy back to this memory. And uh, so the content of this file will be xx and the Hui test the message of memory files. So let's check what's the f in the file. You can see our file, the message became the xx Hui test message of memory mapped files and the original this this is the Hui test message of memory mapped files. So in this case we demonstrate how to use MMAP to create a file, read the file and update the files. Hello this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopefully this is useful, enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback.